The first word, of course, we're talking about is the earth. The earth. This is where we all live. No, none of you live anywhere else except for on the earth, right? Nobody, none of you live on the moon yet. Maybe someday we'll live on the moon, but not yet. Right now we live on the earth, and the earth is the third planet from the sun. There's actually a, a famous TV show in America. It's called The Third, the third Rock from the Sun. And this, of course, is a very, it's a, it's a fun way of saying the third planet from the sun, the third rock. Because if you think about it, the planets are like big rocks, right? What are the first three? There's Mercury, Venus, then Earth, okay? Then the fourth one, of course, is Mars. Those are the small planets next to the sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, that's us and then Mars, and then there are other planets after that, the big ones. But anyway, this is the Earth, and this is what the Earth looks like from space, right? So we can see it's a very beautiful planet, and it's where we live, it's, it's our home. It's the only planet like this in our solar system, and it's the third planet from the Sun. So the Sun is here, Mercury, Venus, Earth, that's us, yay, okay? So one, two, three, the third planet, from the sun. Okay, our next word is globe. Globe is a round object. It's round. It's like a ball, right? A ball that you bounce. Don't bounce the globe, right? It won't bounce. But it's the same shape as a basketball or baseball, things that are round, the same shape. It's a round object that is a model of Earth. It's a model. It's not the Earth, right? It'd be too big. It's a model of the Earth. We make it smaller. It is like a symbol of the Earth. And it is a model of the Earth, so it looks like the Earth, the way the Earth actually looks like. You can see the different parts of the Earth on the globe. It's like a map, but it's a map in 3D. You know 3D, of course. 3D as opposed to 2D. 2D is a paper map, a paper map. A paper map only has uh, two dimensions, right? There's the dimension wide and there's a dimension tall. But 3D has three dimensions. You have this way, you have that way, but you also have inside, you have three dimensions. So a globe is a model of the Earth that is in three dimensions and it looks like the Earth. It's more accurate than a map. A map is only flat. It's paper that it has only two dimensions. And because it's only two dimensions, some of the earth or some of the earth that is on the map is bigger than it should be. Like on the edges of the map, it's bigger than on the center. So a globe is a much more accurate or better model of what the earth looks like than a map. Land. Land, of course, on the Earth is where um, the hard surface of the Earth is, as opposed to water. Water is not the hard surface, right? You can't stand on water, whoop, right? You sink in the water. You'll go down in the water. But on land, we can stand up. The land is hard. We won't sink in the land. Of course, we live on land. If it was just water, we wouldn't be able to survive, or we would be fish, right? We would be something else but we wouldn't be human beings if, we, if there was no land on the earth. So land is the hard surface of the earth. Land is also where we grow our food that we need. This looks like a farm and they're preparing to plant crops. Okay, when we talk about land, we can also talk about continent. Continent. A continent is a very big piece of land. A very large area of land. A very large area of land or a very large piece of land. This is a continent. This is the continent of North America. It is very, very large. It, whoops, America, <laughs> a North America. So it includes many countries. You have Canada, the United States, Mexico, 
Cuba, and other countries in the Caribbean. This is all North America, a very large piece of land. By the way, how many continents does the Earth have? Do you know the answer? In America, we're taught that there are seven continents. We'll see a chart. What are they? We'll see a chart later on in this lesson. What are the seven continents on Earth? So, uh, I'll leave you in suspense, right? Think about that. We'll come to the chart soon. What are the seven major continents on Earth? Think about that. We'll come there soon. We'll talk about that soon. Now, that's continent. What about ocean, right? I talked about land when I said land, right, is the hard surface of the Earth. Those are where the continents and islands are. That's where we stand. But the other part of the Earth, most of the Earth, is not hard surface. It's soft, right? It's the ocean. It's covered by water. There are oceans on the Earth. Ocean is a large area of salt water. Salt is the key. Salt water that covers most of Earth. Because there are large freshwater areas, those are called lakes, okay? But if it's salt water and it's very large, it's called an ocean. How many oceans are there on Earth, right? I said there are seven continents. How many oceans? Do you know how many? If you chose five, you would be correct. What are they? Think about that. That's part of the chart that we'll talk about next. Or not next, but soon. Okay, so stay, stay tuned for that. Think about that. Okay, so continents and oceans. Now, also, when we talk about the Earth, especially when we look at a map, it's very important to notice the compass rose on a map. The compass rose. It's not a flower, okay? It just looks like a rose, right? It kind of looks like a rose, so people say it's a compass rose. Now, a compass rose is a symbol. It's a symbol. It's not real. It's a symbol. Where do we find this symbol? We find the symbol on maps. What does it do? It shows directions. So it's a symbol on maps that shows directions. So if you look at the map, you can find the compass rose printed on the map, and it shows which way is north, which way is east, which way is south, which way is west. That's what your compass rose will show you. It will show you directions. So if you're looking at a map and you're thinking, well, which way is north? Look for the compass rose. It will show you. So the compass rose is very important, as we can see in this video. Now, this is not a compass rose. This is an actual compass. So what you do when you have a compass and a map, you have to change the direction of the compass to match the compass rose that we can't see on this map. But what this person is doing, they have to match so that north on the compass is the north here is pointing the same direction as the compass rose on the map. So what they have to do is they have to turn the compass so that north and north on the compass rose on the map are the same. And then they can figure out which direction on the map to go. For example, they want to go from this city over to this city. They line it up, but this way is north. They have to go that direction. They can see exactly what direction they have to go in to get to the next city. And that's very important, obviously. Uh, when you don't, you know, when you look at the map, you see the direction, then you put the map away and you go in that direction. You can use your compass to walk or to drive, to ride a horse, do whatever you want to get to the other place. But you need to know the direction. The compass rose will tell you the direction on the map. Lesson 13. Here on Earth. Earth, the third planet from the Sun. Globe, a round object that is a model of Earth. Land, the hard surface of Earth. Continent, a very large area of land. Ocean, a large area of salt water that covers most of Earth. Compass rose. A symbol that shows directions on maps.